What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I just did a round of mining and I got some pretty rare items here. So I got a brilliant um, Jasper, a pristine Jasper, a Jasper, brilliant Onyx and a brilliant Ruby. Now I've optimized my player to get rare items every time I go out mining and I actually picked up this as well, a legendary resource just for my mining trip. And I actually have a lot of this stuff. So how do I optimize my player so I can actually go and get this stuff every time I go, I go mining? Now keep in mind, it depends on what you are gonna mine. If you mine stone and iron ore, you're gonna get things like um, flawed um, gems. These ones I got from Star Metal. So it really does depend on what you mine. But what I will do is I'll show you how I've optimized my character to do this. The first way I've optimized my character is by the clothing that he wears. So every single item, and I'll show you how to find this stuff, every single item has what we call a reinforced mining luck attribute. And every single one of them gives me a um, three or more percent in mining luck of finding rare items. I also have a necklace that has um, a mining luck attribute um, while mining gains 6% chance of finding rare items. Now this is not actually needed, I just got this recently, I made this myself. I find it very hard to actually find, but I'll show you how easy it is to find all of these. Now the next thing is you want to have some trade skill food. So the trade skill food that I use is called the Herb Roast Potatoes. Increase your luck when mining by 1400 points for 25 minutes. Your health slowly recovers while under these effects. Now another way to increase your mining is by mining in the area that your faction is in control of. So for example, my faction is over here. If I click on this and I go to benefits of owning a territory, so I get a global luck in Monarch's Bluff of plus 50 points. Now, I don't really bother with that sort of stuff because I'm good, I use the food and this stuff here. Uh, so let's now, so let's I'll show you how to get all of this stuff because people have been asking me how do I find this clothing. What you want to do is the best way to do this is to go to the marketplace, but it's actually quite hard to find this sort of stuff. So I will show you right now how you can find it. Uh, it's pretty easy for me, but it's hard for a lot of people. So what you want to do is you want to go to the clothing and this one here is called the reinforced mining luck. So I want to go into the trading post. I want to go to perks and I want to find the reinforced mining luck. Okay, this is the best way to do it because it's going to um, bring out just those items instead of going through every single one. So let me find it. Okay, so it's down here guys. It's usually around about the bottom or three, three quarters of the way down. Reinforced mining luck. There's other luck ones as well, but this is the most common one. And then what it's going to do is it's going to bring up all of the items with that perk. Okay. Now, some of them are going to be specific levels, but it really just depends. So you probably want to go from the, t from the, the least tier. So this is the one that I have. And you can see that I can go and buy these. Now, you can actually pick them up pretty cheap. So if we go price wise, uh, and, I'm, and actually make sure you put it on every single settlement because it depends on this area as well. So I can get these boots for 15 gold. I can get these for 20 gold. If we go down here, well, let's actually do everything that I can equip right now. So click that one. Okay, here we go. So these are the ones that I can equip right now. $30, 75, 80, 85, uh, sorry, gold. That's actually pretty good considering the stuff that you can get. So you wanna try and get as much as you can, hat, boots, gloves. Um, you don't have to get everything, but try and get a full set, but even two or three is fine. But this is how you go and get this stuff, okay? It's very important that you go and get the stuff and a lot of people have had trouble uh, finding it. And then all you do is you go and buy the stuff. Now your server might not have everything, but just at least get a hat and some shoes or just two or three of them. So that's how you find the clothing. And that's how I've gone and um, done that for, for my character. The next thing is the food. So the food is pretty important. This gives you a major boost in finding rare items. You want to go to the kitchen and you want to go down to what we call trade skill foods. And you want to get the herb roasted potatoes, I think it is. And there's also one that does a thousand points for 20 minutes, but you want to get that extra boost. You need potatoes, honey, butter, and cinnamon. Okay. Now to get cinnamon, um, it's easy. What you need to do is go down to first light area and just harvest any herbs in this area and you should get some cinnamon. That's how I got mine is down here. Now the next thing you need to keep in mind is the level of your mining. So if we go to my trade skills, my mining level is 200 right now. So basically from the level 0 to 50, I got barely any rare items. From 
50 to 100 I start to get some rare items but from 100 to 200 I get rare items all the time so you also want to get your leveling up in the mining because the higher your level the more um, rare items you find okay that's what I found when I was actually um, mining up my mining I find rare items all the time like these ones and you can actually sell these rare items for money so I've been selling these for like $300 and cut ones so when I cut them I've been selling them for like $600 so it really you can make good money by doing this uh, and I have like probably 80 of these in my storage all right guys so that's how you find more rare items when you are mining make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video